Hi, I'm Gloria and I am a nursing student. So with being a nursing student comes a very rigorous studying routine, right? Because we have just so much going on all the time. I mean, any nursing student will be very happy to tell you how busy we are, but it really has required me to really get the studying routine down. I think I'm doing pretty good these days. I think I'm doing pretty good. So I feel really ready to share my studying routine with you. I have another studying video on my channel actually, if you want to check it out, if you want. It's more general, but this is really my current studying routine. So from start to finish, what do I do before an exam? So it's midterm season. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're sleeping. I hope you're eating. I hope you're doing good. Check on your mental health, check on your friends. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the first thing I like to figure out when I'm studying for an exam is what type of exam am I studying for? So is it long answers, short answers? Is it multiple choice? Is it calculations? What type of exams is it? Because depending on the type, it's definitely going to change the way I'm going to study. So for example, if it's more of a memorization exam, I'm going to go with flashcards. But if it's more of a long answer exam, which requires a lot of comprehension, I might go with diagrams. So I really talk about the different studying methods in the study video that I mentioned, but essentially, <laughs> in case you don't wanna go watch it, if it were short answers, I would really like to rewrite my notes and everything. And if it's multiple choice, I really like going with practice questions. But sometimes flashcards can be good too, but practice questions for actually any type of exam is just the best because it's like doing the exam but it doesn't count and you can just practice which is really what practice questions are but I don't know it just it really allows you to make mistakes and realize where you're making the mistakes and I just it's just a great clue for me so I really like doing that the next thing I like to figure out is how hard I need to, to study for the exam. So essentially, I might, <laughs> for example, school started a month and a half ago and I have my very first midterm next week. Um, I, have I kept up with the class? Hopefully yes, but if the case is no, I need to figure out how much I need to cram in the next few days if I didn't keep up. Do you feel me? Because if you did homework, every day every other day then you will need to study way less than if you didn't do anything so that's what i like to figure out <sighs> okay so these days i really like to stay up to date with my classes just because it's a lot easier i don't hate myself later so it's probably in my studying routine these days but if you want a video where i show you how i technically cram for exams let me know but i don't recommend it but i do have a method for you so if you're interested i'll do that video for you just let me know so i really need to know how hard i need to stay for it so how much do i know and how much do i not know so at this point i really like to be honest with myself like if i have technically kept up in the material but i don't understand anything actually like if i technically kept up with the material but i really don't understand anything then this might be the time where i'll visit my teacher's office and be like crying ask for pity ask for mercy for the exam and sometimes you get it sometimes you don't but i know you, you just try anything at this point because it's kind of bad <laughs> i used to visit my teachers officers a lot um your teachers are literally paid to help you so utilize that so next thing i need to figure out so depending on how hard i need to study for it i also need to figure out how much time i'm going to give myself to study for that exam so I've heard that the ideal time to study for an exam is about seven days. You gotta be honest here, I almost never do seven days just because who has seven days? I would say that most of the time I'm kind of like close on time. It's not easy to get like a full seven days. So I really try to aim for five. So five days is really good for me so I can split the material for the class into four days. So one day I'm staying a quarter and etc, etc, etc. Um, and then on the final day, I'm just reviewing all four quarters of the material and it's just, it works for me. It works for me. If I can split it into three, it's even better, but I um, procrastinate a lot. <laughs> if there's any material that I'm missing, it's kind of the time to learn it and to really, you know, nail them. So that's really when I try to stay for them. So that's either going to be by um, rewriting the material. I know that some friends are just okay like rephrasing the material but not on the computer but I think that the trick to doing that is that you really need to put it into your own words. 
So if you're just rewriting whatever you saw in the textbook or whatever your teacher said, odds are that you won't really memorize it or really even get the handle of it. But really my thing is really doing diagrams, which like you really don't have a choice but to rephrase it into your own words just because it's so, it's just so much. You don't really have a choice but to rephrase it, so. Okay, and now my random tricks to really get into the study mood. I like to do study groups, but only one time. Not two times, not three times, one time, one time. Ideally, you won't do a study group that is more than them two or three people but honestly my group of friends and I were like fives so honestly it works for maybe 30 minutes then we lose track of time we talk about something else and it's not it's not the most productive way to study but at the same time you can think about it in this way like since we're all very focused on our studies um, it's five brains so if someone makes a mistake there are four other brains to catch mistakes you feel me so it helps but I don't like to do it on the day of the exam it's usually like maybe the day before the exam where we could just review i like to do study groups i also like to explain the subject to someone else so if i'm able to explain the material to someone else i know i learned it i know i have a handle on it but if i can't if i'm really bugging i need to work on that when i'm actually studying what i like to do in routine is i really like to light a little candle um, put the Spotify playlist of blue fi beats. I mean, the, it really depends on the day. It really depends on the mood. So I try to go with that. Um, after that, I try to do the gum trick actually. Okay, so there's this really fun gum trick, right? I don't know if you've heard of it, but apparently I was just video one time where they said that if you chew gum when you're studying and you chew the same flavor gum on the day of your exam, like while you're writing your exam, then there's a, an actual chance that you might be able to recall the information better. Now, I have no idea if that's true, but what if it is? So whenever I'm really in a studying mood, I need to turn off everything. I won't typically turn my phone off, but I do like to have the notifications off. All my group chats are going to be muted because if I just see the little notification, I'm going to go check, I'm going to go answer the question, I'm going to ask more questions and just it's not very productive here. So I really like to just mute all the group chats so that I don't see them. I also like to leave my phone face down whenever I'm studying just because if I just see it lighting up it will I'll be on focus and on the same idea I really like to remove to put it on do not disturb so that's a little moon I suggest doing that if you don't do it already just because I'm so easy for me to get on focus and on my computer I also get notifications so I like to put the do not disturb on my computer as well and just remove the sound kind of a maniac but I'm, I really get on focus very easily like these days have been hard I mean it's hard to be strict with myself and yeah I guess those are all my studying tricks so that's really my studying routine essentially I hope you enjoyed I hope you found some tips that might help you yourself and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye guys Hey, hey, hey.